Hello, this video is your introduction to Inspector Aid. Inspector Aid can be accessed online just by typing www.inspectoraid.com into your browser. Um, when you get to the login screen, it'll either look like the screen you saw or this one right here. You just enter your username, which is always going to be your email address, and then your password we will send to you with your welcome information. Once you get logged in, it's going to take you to a landing page. This landing page is going to show you your on-time performance and history, and then that status summary section below will show you how many orders you have open. Um, it'll show if you have any canceled orders. Um, if you have anything that shows in a completed status, that's not a status you need to worry about. That's just a status showing that it has not been through our QC process yet. So you may see an inspection that you've completed stay in that completed status for 24 hours just to allow our QC time to go through it, make sure it was done properly. Paid orders, that's where you're going to be able to see any orders you've completed that you've already been paid for. Follow-up needed and then follow-up completed are two statuses that inspections will go to if we need any additional information. So let's say that an inspection goes through our QC process and there's a photo missing or there is something on it that we need additional clarification on. We would put it into that follow-up needed status in order for you to be able to go in, answer any additional questions, make any corrections to it, and then once you save that information, it would go into that follow-up follow -up completed status so that it can go back through our QC process. To see what orders you have open, if you just click on the open, it'll pull up your list of properties. From here, you can see an ID number, an address, the city, a state, a zip code, the order number, the work code. Um, for training purposes, there's no pay information, but it'll typically show the amount you're being paid per inspection. It'll show a due date, an order date, homeowner name, the lender, and then any relevant instructions. If you scroll all the way over, there's more information as well. Now, when you're getting ready to, to start planning your route, you can do a few different things with these orders. You can highlight them all, and if you click on print, and then on orders, it'll open a new window, but it'll generate the inspection form. From here, you're going to get a print screen where you can save the inspections as a PDF or you can print just to your regular printer like you would with anything else. The other thing that you can do if you don't want a full page report for every single one of these inspections is you can just print the headers. So what you can do is the same thing. Just highlight your orders, click on print, and then click on summaries. And what that'll do is it'll generate the same report. It's just going to generate the report with just the instruction portion of the order. Um, so you can just take your notes on these papers themselves. So you're not carrying around as much stuff when you're out doing the inspections. So same process. Um, and then if you go back into your screen, you can also print any attachments, any lost draft forms, or any inspection that requires a door card. You can do that the same way if you click print. And then if you click door cards, it'll generate the door card for any inspection you have that may require you to make direct contact with the homeowner or hand them a door card you'd be able to print the, the door cards off the same way as you would print an order form or anything like that. Um, that's the basics of how to access Inspector Aid, how to access your orders, how to print them off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the code word for this, inspect, for this video, which is data. Just make sure you make a note of that. It's gonna be required at the end once we go through the rest of these videos. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how to export your orders to route them. If you highlight them, click on export, and then click on spreadsheet. It'll download every single open order that you have into a spreadsheet. It's going to download it typically to the bottom of your browser. If you click 
it's going to open a spreadsheet where you're going to be able to see all of your different fields. Um, from here, you can export this list along with any other orders you may have open. You can import this list directly into Microsoft Streets and Trips, so you're able to plan your route that way. Um, but all you have to do is that export, pick spreadsheet. The easiest way to do it is just delete out any columns that you don't need. Um, and then once you've got this kind of cleaned up to where you have the information that you need, you would just click File, Save As, Make sure that you change the file type to Excel. It automatically saves it to a CSV file. You want to make sure that you choose Excel so that the orders download to Excel. And then from here, you can rename your file inspections, whatever you want to name it. And I will typically save it either to my documents or to my desktop, just so I've got it in a place where I can easily access it. So that way, if I need to pull my orders up to route or whatever I need to do, I've got all the information that I need. Going back to Inspector Aid, next thing I'm going to show you is just the basics of how to submit your results for an order. All you do is click on the order. You're going to see an info page, which is going to show you your instructions. And then if you click on the update tab, this is where you're actually going to input your results. If the inspection has ever been completed in the past, you're going to see previous photos. Those photos are meant to be a point of reference for you to make sure that you are at the right property um, and just to make sure that you're noticing anything that's changed or maybe not changed since the last time the property was inspected. All you have to do to fill out your form and submit your results is just check the bubbles for anything that applies. You're going to be able to fill out if a property does happen to be a bad address, if there's any violations present, you're going to fill out your occupancy status, if you left a card, if the property's for sale, the condition, just some basic information. You want to make sure you fill out every field. And then as long as you've got everything filled out, the next thing you're going to do is attach your photos. To attach your photos, you would just click on either multiple image, single image, or upload images, beta, will allow you to upload multiple photos at one time. This is going to be the quickest way to do it. If you just click on that upload images, it's going to pop up a little box. You can automatically label multiple photos. The easiest way to do it is just to default label them to front of house or exterior or something really basic like that which is going to qualify for the majority of the pictures that you're going to take and then you can just go in and change the labels on the individual photos. The easiest way to drag and drop is to just have a partial screen open with your photos and with the screen that you're uploading and then a separate with the actual photos for the inspection. So these are some sample photos that I have. Obviously, these aren't the right property. These are just for training purposes. But if you've got a folder with your photos, all you have to do to get them to attach is just highlight. And you can actually drag them directly over into the blank space on this box. And it's going to attach those photos. Once they've all uploaded, you can click this little X you can open your full screen back up and you're going to see those two photos added. Now, assuming that you had everything else completely filled out on this form, all you have to do is click Save and that inspection would go into a completed status. If you ever miss anything on the form, you'll get this little box that'll pop up telling you the validation has failed. Please correct the following fields in yellow need to be completed and it'll tell you if you didn't fill out a section of the form. So you've got that double check to go back, make sure you've got everything filled out correctly, and at that point you can just click complete. So that's the basics of how to submit an order into Inspector Aid. If you ever want to make sure that an order went through, 
the easiest way to do it is to click back on your inspections page and you should see that number go down. So if you started off with 32 open inspections, you submitted one or two or five, however many, you should see that number go down. And then when you go into your home page, you should be able to see those orders in a completed status. So that's just a good double check, especially as you're getting more familiar with the system to just look for those sorts of things to make sure that we've received the results on everything that you've got in there. Once we've actually closed it out of our QC process, it would go out of that completed status and into the completed status up top on your landing page. That was all the information that I had for you. I um, look forward to speaking with you on the rest of the videos. Have a great day.